warned us that something was coming. If there is ever an end in this forever war, it will be because of you and your strong right hand. I'm on your side! Sorry, my bad. What is up, guys? Kid Critic is b -b 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 back! with another review and this review is on the new 2019 reincarnation of Hellboy which is directed by Neil Marshall and stars David Harbour and it's about based on the graphic novels by Mike Mignola Hellboy caught between the worlds of the supernatural and human battles an ancient sorceress bent on revenge <laughs> so when the trailers first came out for this movie, I thought this movie looked like lots of fun. I know a lot of people weren't like such a big fan of the trailers. I thought that it just looked like the blast. Then the reviews came out, and I was like, "Ooh, it does not look good." Because I have, I think as of this review has like a fifteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and if you get a fifteen percent on anything, that usually tends to not be good. So coming out of this film, I did not think it was a 15% movie. I thought it was more like a 40% movie. I liked moments of this movie, I just didn't think it was a very good movie overall. Now my first pro with the movie is that I think David Harbour is fabulous as Hellboy. Now does he compare it to Ron Perlman? I actually think so. Now I've I've only seen the first Del Toro Hellboy movie, which I liked. I haven't seen the second one, but I definitely think he ranks with Ron Perlman. So I think he's really good as Hellboy. And my second pro with the movie is that whenever there's like a fight with Hellboy and a big giant monster, I thought that's when the movie is just lots of fun. Now they definitely add some new lore to the lore of Hellboy and there's not everything I like but I thought some of the things that they added with I'm not gonna say what it is just in case if you guys think that's a spoiler but I I, I enjoy some of the stuff that they added to the lore in this new Hellboy movie now something that the original Hellboy did really well was have the relationship between Hellboy and his father or adopted father I guess in his case and I think this movie does the same thing. Now, I don't think it's as good as there, but this movie definitely establishes a great relationship between both Hellboy and his dad. And I really enjoyed it. It has some great dramatic moments that I liked a lot. Now, that's where my pros about end with this movie. So now, on with the cons. My first con with this movie is that there is so much exposition and explaining of every single thing that just doesn't need explaining. It just overdoes it, and it just made it a whole entire mess. And it just put in, like, little sub-stories, like, so many different sub-stories. And it just made the movie just a whole big entire mess. And it just, I just wanted it to focus on one story, and it didn't. It, like... It did, they had this story, then they had this story, and they're like, okay, so which one is this movie about? And it even made it confusing at times, and then they involved characters that just need, didn't need to be there. This movie probably could have been a lot shorter if it just focused on one storyline, didn't have all these needless story elements, and that they just need, didn't need to be there. Now, that was kind of like a bunch of cons in one, so my second con is definitely nowhere near as big as that one, is that I didn't, I mean, this for this movie to be a 15 50 million dollar movie not the, not all the CGI is going to look amazing but i thought most of the CGI looked pretty good but definitely some of it was a bit questionable and you could definitely tell that was CGI especially when it came to some of the big monsters so overall i did not hate hellboy i definitely didn't hate this movie it definitely had some fun moments again david harbour is great a lot of the action scenes are great I love some of the relationships that are in this movie. There's just like, this movie is just a whole mess. And the, I compare this movie kind of like with the Suicide Squad or maybe even a Venom, but I think Venom is definitely better than this movie. Where I liked Hellboy, I didn't like the movie he was in. And that's kind of what I felt about this movie. Now, do I recommend this movie? Probably not. Unless you're a huge Hellboy fan, then why not? But I would just wait till it's on DVR. But if you're not interested, I, I just wouldn't watch it if I were you. Because I don't think I'm even going to watch it again. But again, it's not horrible. But it's still a bad movie. But I actually wouldn't mind seeing a sequel. Because now that you got all that exposition and explaining that you just don't need out of the way. I think you could just have like a fun sequel. And it definitely opens the door to a sequel. But again, the Hellboy movies just don't do that good at the box office, so I kind of don't see 
a sequel happening for this movie. And it's a shame because I love David Harbour as Hellboy. And with that said, guys, look out for the next video and review. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace.